What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. I'm going to be rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates for everybody to enjoy. So do subscribe. It's free. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. I'm less than 750 subscribers now away from 19k subscribers. So any help towards that would be much appreciated by me. You also get to stay up to date with the latest Manchester City transfer news as well. Don't forget also you can find my social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries, I am looking for an active sponsor for these daily Manchester City transfer updates. So if that is something that does float your boat, then do let me know through my email, my Twitch link as well in the description below too. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitch, leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video. 300 likes once more is the like goal and lastly don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below of what you made of these transfers without further ado though let's crack on with this video we're going to start off with the ins that's right we've just got ins to deal with today which is good and we've got an update following on from yesterday's video on Erling Haaland now yesterday we were mentioned that Erling Haaland he won't be joining Manchester City he won't be leaving Borussia Dortmund uh, and that's the case that we're looking at however Ekrim Connor uh, O'Connor I have no idea how you say his name he's based in Italy uh, he's been covering Erling Haaland and he says that Chelsea and Manchester City they're both keen this summer to sign Erling Haaland uh, which a price tag apparently has been set at 130 million pounds now I'm just going to address this because I know people have been mentioning it in the comments in my last video about Erling Haaland I'll tell you right now he won't be leaving Dortmund this summer Ekrem Connor uh, I've dealt with him a couple of times this summer and the information that's been provided has been uh, inac uh, inaccurate or, or false. It hasn't been quite on the money on where it needs to be and I feel like the stories that are being put out there are being put out there to get his name out there uh, in the hope that he'll strike lucky that he'll be classed as in the know. I'm not saying this is any disrespect to his hard work because I am sure that he's working extremely hard. Being a journalist is not easy. Uh, finding um, stories out for transfers and things like that. I've, I've been doing this for years and years and years. I know how difficult it is feeding through the information uh, and, and communicating that across. It's a very difficult job. A job certainly that people underestimate uh, and I'm not taking anything away from him. I'm sure the uh, reliability and the sources provided to him are sources that he would trust. However, the story itself just simply does not make sense. £130 million for a player that's going to be worth £65 to £70 million next summer on his release clause doesn't make sense from Man City or Chelsea's perspective. And even on that financial perspective, there's the Covid market out there. Why would either club that have both made losses go out there and spend £130 million to, to sign a striker? There isn't going to be £130 million transfers for one player in this window. It cannot happen. Sponsorships um, uh, and the money provided to the clubs and everything, uh, the money, the income into the clubs, everything's down. So it wouldn't make sense to then sign above. Uh, and that's the problem Man City have faced with transfers like Harry Kane, like Jack Grealish, and why they don't want to spend the big money, because quite frankly, this summer isn't the time for any club to be doing that with uncertainty surrounding income and surrounding uh, the current situation uh, with what's happened uh, from the pandemic and post-pandemic and the effect that it's having on finances and having on uh, the money side of things from football. So this transfer story, I just feel like it's been plucked out of uh, thin air to get clicks, to get people talking about it, when in actual fact it's fabricated, it isn't true. Um, what you've got to realise is there's realism involved in transfers. Erling Haaland plays for Borussia Dortmund, he wants Champions League football, they've qualified uh, for the Champions League Borussia Dortmund. Um, he seems very settled and happy at Dortmund. It's looking like Jadon Sancho is going to be leaving them. So it doesn't make sense from a Dortmund point of view. They're getting their money. They're getting, what, £90 million pound or so for Jadon Sancho. So it doesn't make sense for them to then say, actually, let's make even more money and sell Erling Haaland as well. It's not going to happen. It will be a continuous thing where Erling Haaland, when that release clause comes active next summer, will leave uh, Borussia Dortmund. It's just, yeah... 
it's not going to happen. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, anyway, moving on. And speaking of things that aren't happening, Antoine Griezmann. I'm sure a lot of people will be pleased about this because they weren't happy when I mentioned this in one of my videos. But reliable sources at the Manchester Evening News are reporting Man City have told Barcelona, no, we're not interested in signing Antoine Griezmann this summer. We have had a little saga going on with Antoine Griezmann as well, with one of the contingencies for Man City and Harry Kane, but City have uh, nipped that in the bud very quickly and said, no, Antoine Griezmann will not be uh, become a Manchester City player. And that makes sense as well. He's on a high wage. Man City won't be matching the wage that he's on at Barcelona, which would make him the highest earner at Manchester City. It's not how we do things, so that it, it won't be happening. It's uh, very simple. So there we go. Case closed. Uh, and moving on to our final story, the meat of the video. Uh, this is very interesting. With England heading out of the European Championships, of course, lost in the final uh, against Italy on penalties. A very cruel way for us to have lost that game, uh, which is, of course, now being overshadowed from the uh, antics before the game and after the game by a, a small minority uh, just complete idiots I'll put that one out there right now and the uh, overwhelming uh, support that all the players that, ha that have received in the uh, in, in the post-reaction to that game has uh, been fantastic from the large majority and of course you've got the small minority trying to spoil it for everybody else and uh, yeah it's just not good, just horrible, horrible, horrible people out there. Um, yeah, but anyway, England uh, headed out the European Championships. It does mean that's come to an end. Congratulations to Italy, by the way, uh, on winning the European Championships and the Copa America. Congratulations to Argentina on winning that. It means that uh, now transfer business can be getting underway. The situation is players will be going on holiday that have competed in these teams. Uh, more importantly, for England's basis, because Man City are after Harry Kane and Jack Grealish, or and or Gra Jack Grealish, I should, uh, I should say. They're going to be heading out on holiday. Uh, and the situation is two or three weeks they're going to be away before they return back for the latter parts of pre-season and getting on with the season uh, where they'll probably take them two, uh, two or three weeks to get back into the swing of things and so it means that we're not going to have too many developments on these stories for the next two or three weeks however i am expecting from today for things to really warm up when it comes to jack grealish and harry kane i'm expecting man city to start to step up interest i'm expecting man city to start talking with their representatives and with the clubs and i reckon maybe in the next week or two we could start seeing bids being made man city though will want to be confident that not only will that bid be accepted but the players willing to join the club as well and they'll then try to fight that through and see what players we can bring into the club uh, so things are going to get very exciting and uh, going to intensify incredibly over the next couple of weeks so do stay tuned uh, for that and uh, jack grealish and harry kane i'm expecting that to happen once more it's already started to happen with grealish football inside have said that Man City, they're preparing a £90 million bid for him. Sam Lee has uh, further added on to that by saying uh, that Man City are expecting that if they can get over the big hurdle of agreeing a fee with Aston Villa to sign Jack Grealish, that it would be a nice quick transfer for City to get done. They'd be confident about personal terms and they'd be confident about everything else, uh, else happening and him becoming a Manchester City player. I think the biggest problem we've got with Jack Grealish joining our club is I'm not too sure he'll want to leave his boyhood club. Um, he obviously was striving for ambition, wants to be playing in the uh, biggest competitions that includes the Champions League football and that is something that Man City of course can offer Jack Grealish. However, being able to prize him away from his boyhood club is difficult, particularly when his boyhood club are an ambitious club like Aston Villa that are willing to pay him a lot of money, I will add, that are looking to try and get into Europe and they'll want Jack Grealish to spearhead that as well. So it'll be a difficult transfer in terms of that to, to be able to convince him to join Manchester City. What Villa are striving for is to be where Manchester City are at now. Uh, and Man City can speed up that process and bring Grealish in uh, that way. Uh, but the other big uh, complication that we have in terms of, uh, of this deal uh, is quite simply the fact that Aston Villa will not sell Jack Grealish. The fee, very difficult. Man City won't pay over the odds. We've already spoke about Erling Haaland and £130 million. Pounds. It isn't happening. Well, £90 million, pounds, I don't think, will be enough to sign Jack Grealish. I think we're looking at £100 plus million pounds. And quite simply, I know Manchester City, I've been doing this for long enough, we just don't do transfers that way. We won't be paying... A hundred million pounds for a player that includes Jack Grealish. I'm going to include Harry Kane on that as well. So there is a distinct reality that City may not go out there and sign Erling Haaland, Jack Grealish, or Harry Kane this summer. 
Uh, whether there's contingencies in place of Man City looking at options B, C and D like I would expect, that remains to be seen. One thing I will say though is that Man City need to replace Sergio Aguero. I wouldn't have too much of a problem if Man City were maybe looking at one or two players if we'd kept Sergio Aguero because he's always going to be an option there, but we haven't. Aguero has left, so we're now a clash striker down and we need a goal scorer, we need a striker to be brought in. And if City want a top class striker like Harry Kane, they're going to have to pay the big money for it. If Man City want to sign Jack Grealish and prize him away from Aston Villa, they're going to have to pay the big money for it. So does City stick with that policy or do they overcommit and pay the money? That is the crossroads that we are facing in the next two to three weeks. Uh, if City are to do it, I would say that City would need to do this and get this sorted uh, probably during pre-season, you would think, ready and waiting going into the season. I've got a feeling that City may wait a month or so, wait to get into the new season, see how everyone's settling in, how everyone's performing, and then make a decision just like we did last summer with Ruben Diaz. We didn't sign Ruben Diaz until after the Leicester game, when of course we got smacked for five against them at home, and it made us realise actually we desperately need to bring in a central defender, and then we acted on it. And I've got a feeling all the seeds and everything's going to be put in place for us to sign a striker, and I've got a feeling as we go into maybe the middle of August, if gold's drying up and City aren't uh, firing on all cylinders and it's not working for us, City may say, actually, we're going to have to spend big and bring a striker in. So, like I said, I will keep everyone up to date with all the latest developments, with all the latest Manchester City transfer news. I've got a feeling this is going to be a long summer of backwards and forwards between players, including Jack Grealish and Harry. Harry Kane. That's my sense. That's my sense of sagas that's going to be happening this summer. I'm excited for it. You betcha. So don't forget, like I said, to subscribe if you haven't already. Do subscribe. It's free. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Stay in the loop with the latest Manchester City transfer news. That would be fantastic. Don't forget also to leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. 300 likes is what I am aiming for, so that would be great if we could hit that. Uh, my social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries my twitch link also in the description below too if you want to go and follow me on my twitch that would be fantastic as well and also don't forget leave your thoughts in the comments below erlin harland 130 million would you pay it harry kane how much would you be willing to pay are you disappointed about not signing antoine griezmann or happy let me know in the comments below jack Grealish, harry kane one or the other pick who do you want let me know in the comments below and i'll see you all again tomorrow for the next daily manchester city transfer update so i've been jsgc thank you everyone for watching i hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now <laughs>